Okay, let's try this one then. Uh, Porsche 911 Turbo S. Same track, Silverstone National. Five laps, let's see where we go. And we're off. Tenth on the grid this time. Again, another car I've never drove at Silverstone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bit of break there. Luckily, I never hit nothing. <laughs> Does make a change. Well, let's, let's get some speed on. Let's get away from these. Looks like that red one's going to follow me. See how this takes this first sharpest corner, and I took it wide as per usual. Now, for some reason, the wheel's gone ever so light again. I sometimes find that with a Logitech, no matter what settings I put in, when it decides it wants to do its own thing, it does its own thing. So one of the reasons why I want to get rid of it. It's done its purpose. Anyway, number one. I've left these behind. Of course, a reason why, but I have. Now, I hate taking these corners at super high speeds. But I'm getting around them a lot better than if I was. I'm staying on the track more. Or trying to anyway. Let's see if I can get around this one without going wide and coming off the track. Nearly. Of course, you what gear I'm in. I'm in third gear. I'm still st sliding around there. One for my accelerator. just a touch. Every time I seem to slow, uh, slow down it seems to slide. Don't know why. But maybe I'm doing something wrong that somebody could uh, point me in the right direction when it comes to sim racing. Comments and welcome. Right. If it helps me to improve racing then so be it. Love to hear from people. As I said in the previous two videos, I ain't perfect when it comes to this. I'm getting it my own. I'm trying. <laughs> and that's, I think that's all you can do. And I'm weighing too much gear there in fifth gear. Do you feel that slide? And that's at slow speed. I watch some people on these games. And then taking corners at top speeds and then blowing around. I'm thinking, how do you do it? Just how do you do it? Again, slid out. Not as bad as before. I'm on the fourth lap of five. This is one of the turns that are normally slowed out on, not the actual one previously. So could be the car. It's more likely gonna be me. Or it's this one where I don't break in time. So if I break down, come across, take this one and swing it back to get around here. Let's come down again. Third, yep. I know I can take this bend at a bit of speed. This one, though, never give me a bit of a problem. But this one does. So let's take it a bit wider. And yep, 
slide in a bit. Or a day go off the track, which is a bonus. <laughs> I got the habit for turning him into the into the corners, me me turning him. And I watched previous videos where they say, "Yeah, keep your arms rigid and let the car wheel to the steering, not me." I suppose that's not having any uh, seat belts. Put on this chair. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can't even fasten them because there's no holes through the chair. Even if I wanted to put a set on. Then we'll come at a later date when I upgrade. Anyway, let's bring this car home for the win, as they say. And I thought this would be quite hard it being a road car rather than a race car. Not too many mistakes, only a few, nearly again. There we have it. Right, let's watch a replay as I did in the previous two. So we'll go from that one to that. Um, turn up them. Come on, we'll do here. And it four. Well, let's see what happens there now. Let's have a look where I went wrong. Once it starts, it does take a little bit of time to build up. There we go. I can hear the roar of the engine. And away I'll go. Let's get a better. Let's have a look. Is it F3? Yeah, it's F3 that does the different cam views. Love that view. Absolutely love it. Here I come. Am I the black car? Oh, yep, yeah, that's me. Four one eight RS, whatever that means. <coughs> Excuse me. And I did lose it a few times around these corners. That's the first one. I overshot the corner and it went wide. Change the angle. Let's go to F6 and have a in car view. I love this view. Well, it looks like every movement is me turning that wheel. Well, did it well there. <laughs> and I skid off the track as I've done before. Where's the bonnet view? That's another good view. Again, all these skiddings you get to feel in the wheel, and of course, I feel it in the cushion as well from the shaker kit. Can't remember if I took this corner properly. I think I come down with the gears on this one and went around slower, which I did, yep. Just hit the rumble strip. Again, can never get that corner tight unless I come really down in the gears. We sort of accelerate away in this corner here for some apparent reason. It's this one that always causes me problems no matter what car I drive. Always seem to go out wide and end up going off the track. And sometimes Especially in this race now, it ain't too bad because there's no cars uh, in f behind me that many. But when you're in a pack of cars and you do a mistake like that, it costs you the race sometimes or a position. But I must be that far in front. Uh, is there anything behind me? I don't think there is. No. For some reason, I've shot off and that lot's just stayed well behind. I must have scared him with me driving. <laughs> Again. For some reason the wheel just don't like turning into these tight corners. 
because I got that on full lock and the wheel still wouldn't turn so whether it's the car maybe the wheel oh, I don't know and as I said like if anybody's watching this who sim races any tips or anything to help me improve is, is welcome I'll take it on board Everybody loves a bit of positive criticism. And there we go again. Found that little bit of home straight. And just as you bring up some speed, you have to slow down for the corner. This is why I pick Silverstone. There ain't too many long straights where you can open it up. I like something with a bit of a challenge where you've got to slow down to check corners. Took that one a little tighter than previous, but then I start to swear about and you know, it's frustrating. And again, back on the gas. And I took this one a little bit wider, more out at the in, and I just about kept it on the track. Still sliding about, as you can hear from the sound effects and again felt it in the wheel and I also felt it in the cushion I love this hairpin when I can get it right mm. yep yeah, kept that on the road again still don't think there's anything behind me no so whatever I did in this race I did it better so I have that much lead Oops, talk too soon. I lost it as per usual. <laughs> it's a good thing about these sim games, you can have some fun, you know. Again, there is people that take it serious and I respect them. You know, uh, you can, it's challenging. Every race you do, it's a challenge to either get first or, you know, Improve on the last time. Ooh. Just made it. Anyway, there's another race. As I say in the bag. Be back in a bit with another car. Another race. Set a Corsa. So a bit. <laughs>